Welcome everyone to another video on the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time we talk about iPhone, more specifically how you can edit high contrast photos on your device. Now, it depends on what you mean by that, of course, but I'm going to cover some different things. The first topic or the first part is using the default photos app, because if you open up the photos app, you might notice that it looks with much contrast added to the picture, or perhaps it looks natural. It's up to you, but you should know that you can edit it right within the photos app. So you can, of course, tap on it, click on edit at the top right here and make sure that you are in this section right here at the bottom with the lighting and stuff with the adjustment tool and you can scroll through it and find the contrast. So you can see this is what it looks like and you can decrease it to make it look better in case you like it that way or play around with some other filters in here, perhaps shadows. This is gonna make it look a little bit more natural, I guess. Now this also decreases the shadow a bit. So that's an option as well. You can use it within the Photos app. But of course, this is only if you want to be simple with it. Besides that, you can also use some third party applications. The most popular one is, of course, Lightroom from Adobe. And this app allows you much more options and things to play around with. So if I located the very same image, you can see that I can open it up within the Lightroom app as well and just play around with the sliders. That's basically my strategy with this is I'm not a professional uh, photo editor. I don't really know exactly how you can do that, but I'm just showing you the technical ways how you can add and decrease contrast within certain video photo editors on inside of the iPhone and what you can basically do with it. However, what I would do personally in your case is go to YouTube and look up some tutorials on how you can do it. Like there are going to be people explaining to you exactly which slider, how much to which amount you're supposed to slide the contrast and highlights and all the stuff. And there aren't going to be professional photographers giving you the guidance. So this is what I would personally rely on. I would just look up some tutorials and see for myself what I can do with it. So yeah, this is my strategy on how I usually edit photos. So that's something I needed to tell you, of course. But besides that, I need to show you one thing I've been working on recently, which is the Foxtech educational platform, which you can join for free. The link is going to be down below in the description. It contains full guides for apps. So uh, the goal is to cover every single app on the iPhone in a depth on this platform so you can know for sure how you can use it. There is also the video editing course for free using Adobe Rush. So you can check it out if you desire. It's free to do so. So go ahead and check it out. The link is down below. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, I would appreciate if you hit the like button under it, but definitely subscribe to Fox Tech so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.